Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you the uh, gameplay of uh, Pikmin 3 for Wii U. So this game is released on August 4th, 2013. And uh, let's get started. And our uh, first stop is Captain Charlie's uh, crash site. So Captain Charlie just had a uh, um, crash landing and then lose conscious. And uh, here it is, three yellow Pikmins. So, so this is Captain Charlie. Get back on his feet and look around a new planet full of uh, yellow creatures, Pikmin. Okay, so this is probably uh, just a very famous Nintendo game tradition. So if uh, usually in their 3DS games, and then oh, uh, for example, the uh, Mario or Luigi or some other characters will just uh, use uh, 3DS as a uh, navigation device. And then for this, like uh, in this uh, Wii U game, everybody is using a Wii U gamepad. Oh, very interesting. Okay, so let's go find uh, Alpha and uh, Brittany. I am using the uh, Wii U gamepad to play this game, and you can also use um, Wii U Pro Controller or the uh, Wii Remote. Oh, we just discovered a group of yellow pigments sitting on a can, and uh, so what? How can we get them? So uh, they're just uh, lining up in front of uh, Captain Charlie, and then uh, a blue circle just uh, appeared. Okay, we just uh, found a group of uh, pigments, and then use the uh, ZR button to blow the whistle, and uh, the yellow pigments will join your group. So this is at the very beginning of the game, and then the yellow circle is very small. And then during your uh, um, progress in the game, this uh, after you level up, the circle can grow bigger. So just to use A buttons to uh, throw pigments to your obstacles or use the B buttons to uh, let all your pigments in your group to go to your uh, obstacles. And then they can destroy anything in your way.
as you can see when you're throwing the pigments trying to uh, aim it like uh, let the pigments can land on the mushrooms from the top and then that will be destroying the mushrooms with the one blow Transparent just to show up at the back of uh, Captain Charlie, and then our uh, yellow pigment just uh, all run away. Wow, what is it? Uh, we don't know. We'll find out later. So now we will go to the uh, Alpha's crash site. Okay, so uh, Alpha was crashed in another uh, spaceship, and then oh, Alpha just uh, looked like a toddler. Uh, very cute, and then uh, okay, so this is the spaceship just a wreck down on the ground. So, um, okay, so he lose conscious as well. And then let's see what else. And um, oh, it's a miracle, I'm alive. Oh, yeah, of course, you have to be alive. You are one of the uh, main characters. Okay, so uh, Alpha just uh, get back on his feet and then uh, what should we do here? Uh, we will probably need to go look for the SS Greek and then he's a crew member. So let's see. So this time is a red pigment. And he ran away. So, uh, what's that? It's a red pigman. So let's uh, find it. Apparently, we need to throw the pigments to those red cannon to get it down. So now you can see at the uh, right bottom corner of the screen and then it shows you how many pigments are on the field and then how many pigments are in your squad. So after you throw the pigment out, they will leave your squad. And then uh, how to identify them, you will see at the, their head, they have this red color glowing on their head. And then uh, if you want them to join your squad again, you have to blow the whistle. Okay, so the bridge is broken. And then uh, how can we get that? So let me try to throw some pigments to the other side. And then let's see. 
Um, it looks like it doesn't work, so let's try to find another way to uh, get across this bridge. Here we go. Here are some uh, building materials. So, uh, throwing our pigments to those materials, they will fix our bridge. So the red pigment will keep working on the job and then until the whole job is done. Um, so I probably I need to get some uh, more. Uh, let's see if there's any other pigments available. Oh, here we go. Uh, in the mirror. Oh, uh, now the bridge is fixed. So let's uh, get across to see what is going on on the other side. Okay, so now it's time to use our gamepad. So our gamepad is basically showing the same map as it shows on the main screen. And then you can use the gamepad to control the map. So if you are using the uh, Wii Remote or the Wii U Pro Controller, I believe you can control the map directly on the screen. As you can see on the bottom left corner of the screen, so this is what, what it looks like on the gamepad. And then you can move the screen, uh, move the map, and then um, that's basically showing the exactly the same thing on the main screen. Here we go. Here is, oh, we found it. When it shows, look at your TV on your gamepad, so the main screen switch back. And your gamepad screen remains showing the uh, uh, map of the planet, and then you can just uh, keep using that as a navigation device. And then I believe if you are using uh, the Wii U Pro Controller or the uh, Wii Remote, you will uh, not having this map. So that's the uh, one of the main uh, advantages of using the uh, Wii U Gamepad. But um, um, so for the control wise, I do think the Wii U Pro Controller works better. Um, and then the Wii Remote, it's easier for you to uh, uh, just to whistle the uh, pigments and then um, just the pros and cons. Okay, so uh, if we collect those uh, red metals and then put it back to the onion, it will plant uh, new pigments for us. And then the numbers on the metal just shows how many pigments it will generate. So now my squad has grown to 10. Then with this uh, 10 pigments, so let's see how it goes. Oh, here we go. Uh, a new enemy. Oh, uh, it is a little bug. Let's see. Okay, so let's go in there. Oh, they get it back. So, can we 
getting some food from it. Oh, okay. So, uh... Alright. But sometimes it's kind of like uh, hard to control this um, uh, laser circle. And here we go, this is another uh, metal uh, for uh, uh, red pigment. So let's uh, just uh, get it back. Oh, okay. So uh, our new pigments are ready. So let's uh, get it out. And now my uh, build number grows to 14. Okay. The squad is growing fast. Oh, can we get across here? Uh, maybe not. We don't have. Uh, maybe we don't have enough uh, pigment. So let's uh, try it back later when we get more pigments. Oh, Joey, spot. Okay, so uh, this one will uh, replant quite more pigments for us. And uh, as you can see, this uh, number five metal needs uh, five uh, red pigments to pick it up. So, five new pigments was planted, and uh, let's get them out. So now the total number of my scrap grows to 21. So uh, with this uh, large squad, can we go across this uh, cardboard for now? Um, let's try it out. Oh, looks like it needs a uh, 20. Okay, so let's just uh, scroll 20. 20 pigments over. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now the gamepad is still shows exactly the same thing as it looks like on the main screen. So uh, I will not show the uh, gamepad footage this time. Oh, it's, uh, it is not Captain Charlie, so uh, who is going to be? So let's find out. Looks like nothing else is left on this box, so let's uh, just uh, go another way. And then, shall we do anything about this plant? Uh, looks like not, so let's just go. So now we entered uh, a cave. Light. Let's uh, 
crack some marshmallows. Now we see a wall. This wall uh, looks like it's made from uh, sand or dirt. So let's try it out. Cracking the wall open. Okay, we are finally out of the cave, and then, uh, oh, here it is, here's our SS break, and then uh, we can leave now. So, uh, let's see, what should we do now? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Um, I don't know. Oh! We just get the uh, incoming call from uh, who it is. So let's just uh, pick it up. Oh, it's from Brittany. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, third character crashed on this uh, Pikmin planet. And uh, let's see what, how she does. Uh, apparently, uh, she is trapped somewhere. Oh, and the uh, connection just lost. Uh, oh no, we got cut off. So, uh, we have to find where Brittany is. So, I guess we will go. Yes, let's go sound. Oh, there we go. Uh, Alpha just uh, teleported back to the SS Creek spaceship and then we are leaving. And um, so I believe that's all for the day. And um, let's. Um, okay, so here it is. Spaceships and then. Uh, that's the onion for the red pigment or left. And then we are finished for day one. Then we just. Oh, okay, so uh, we are suffered from the crash landing. We only have uh, three days supplies of the food, and then we just uh, consume one for the first day. So we are leaving on limited supplies and then so let's go find some food tomorrow. That's all for day one gameplay. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and stay tuned for the next day's gameplays. Bye bye.